Before billboards existed, businesses turned to painted advertisements on buildings. In this week's Big Sky Chronicles, MTN's Matt Wickos spoke to an historian on the lore behind these signs. Let's take a look. Big Sky Chronicles, sponsored by Big Sky Plumbing and Heating. Call the plumbers you can trust. Call the Big Sky guys. Walking in downtown Helena or driving down Broadway, you'll notice signs on buildings advertising local businesses. People had to figure out a way to advertise their wares, yeah. their businesses. Yeah. Having a prime location in downtown Helena, you're bound to look up and see a sign like Eddie's Bread, good to eat. This was uh, before you had those neon signs and it was uh, really the only way that people had to advertise on their buildings. But as years went on with the harsh winters and pouring rain, these signs began to fade and gain the name ghost signs. The idea of it being a ghost is because, you know, it's just, it's very faded and sometimes they're very difficult to read. Much like the ghost signs, most of the businesses such as Palmquist Electronic Company have faded away over time, but because they use lead paint in the sign, their mark is still left here today. However, there is one sign in downtown Helena that still retains its look, and you can almost smell the fresh baked bread. Actually, it was kind of repainted to look like it, you know, wasn't brand new. Reporting in Helena, Matt Whitkos, MTN News.